Some of you may or may not be aware there was a huge fire in Spain relating to an old tyre cemetery. Uh, it's still burning now and 9,000 people, 9,000 homes have had to be evacuated. The reality here is those tyres do not need to be there. The disposal of them is expensive. But here's a reality thing. We actually make power plants that use old tires. We use we make power plants that use old plastics that have no use anywhere else. We can turn these things into energy. And the same power plant will use plastic or um, uh, tires. So you can use both. It doesn't matter. You do one process than the other. From a perspective um, from me to you, there's commission in you actually selling these power plants for us. From my perspective, I know you're all around the world, so if you've got contacts in government, etc., this could be an easy sell for you because they want rid of those tyres just as much as I do. Um, this is environmental, it's a positive step forward. The other side of this being is something I haven't discussed yet, but the bell will ring in a second. The, the seas are full of rubbish. It's full of plastics, you know, the old uh, ring, you know, the, what do you call it, the rings that go on beer cans and that sort of stuff, you know, where the people carry it, and the birds get caught up in it, and they're a horrible piece of plastic. Dredging the sea in various ways, getting all this plastic and turning it into energy will actually remove it from the sea as well. This is humans actually cleaning up their own mess. Um... What I'm asking for you is to actually get involved. If you want to get in touch, please do. And in the same way, I'm going to be contacting some of the people that were interested in the English teaching stuff because that's actually starting to move forward as well now. Uh, but the this one, I think, is really important to push forward as you can see why this is important to do. It cleans up these old tires. It prevents these disasters. It prevents these fires. It makes the place better for everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. For more info, just email me.